Hi guys, I'm Dr. Madan. Today is December 16th, 2020. And today's the day I'm scheduled to get the COVID-19 vaccine manufactured by Pfizer. So I'm here to share that experience with you over the next few days. So follow me and let's see what happens. Am I nervous? You bet. But for now, time to go to work. Just finished my morning clinic and now it's time to head out to the hospital to get the shot. All right guys, stay with me. I've now arrived at the Houston Methodist West Hospital parking garage and I'm going to head over to get my COVID vaccine. I want to give a huge shout out to the Methodist Hospital system. Right from the beginning, um, they have been extremely organized. We knew from day one when they're getting the vaccine, they have the appointment system online, just the most fantastic job one can expect. So here I go. My appointments at um, Employee Health in about 15, 20 minutes. So that's where I'm headed. I think I've reached the right spot. You wanna wipe it again? <laughs> Cause I messed it up, you're wiping. <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> that was a great job. <laughs> that hurt less than the flu shot, like hurt like nothing. <laughs> So I've had my shot now and um, they have a little room here where um, after you've had your shot you sit for about 15-20 minutes so they can um, observe you if you have any reaction or anything. There's a whole bunch of people sitting here. Everybody's masked and uh, a few people are talking to each other. Um, they're also making appointments for your next shot in three weeks. So, I'm gonna go head over and make that appointment. So after your vaccination, you get uh, this CDC card, which is your vaccination record. So 15 minutes have passed since I took the vaccine. I'm leaving the vaccination unit. Like I said, they have you sit there for about 15 minutes to monitor you. Feeling great, no problems. Heading back to the car. Now it's uh, 4.20 p.m. I've reached home. It's about two hours since I had my COVID vaccine. I'm feeling fine. I have no arm pain, no body pain, no nausea, no symptoms. Um, but I reviewed um, the literature published regarding the vaccine. And the most common uh, side effect is muscle pain. So um, to avoid that from happening, I am going to take a couple of a leave. Uh, I had a little snack before taking my leave and um, the data published shows that most muscle pain or um, other mild symptoms respond pretty well to the non-steroidals like Aleve or Motrin. So here it goes. So it's been about 24 hours since I got the COVID vaccine. Any little pain or tenderness I had in the arm is now completely gone. I haven't had any muscle pain um, any tiredness has, uh, has somewhat been reported in places. In my personal experience, uh, it was pretty smooth. 
I did take a couple of a leave yesterday after the vaccine and I took a couple today morning. At this point, I don't feel the need to take any more. Um, and even that I took sort of as a preventative. I'll um, go over some of the instructions they gave prior to the vaccine so it can be helpful to you all. And um, good luck to everybody. So prior to receiving uh, the vaccine, you get a little questionnaire with questions on if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, whether you have received any other vaccine in the last 14 days. If you have, then they recommend putting your vaccine after at least 14 days um, after any previous vaccine, such as a flu vaccine. They wanna know if you've had any um, antibody treatment and um, any severe allergic reactions to uh, pre previous vaccines. And um, if, you're, if all of those things are okay, then you can go ahead and have that vaccine. They also give you information on um, a vSafe app, uh, which is an app for the smartphone where you can register um, any side effects that you may have from the vaccine. So that br brings me to the conclusion of this uh, video. Um, I had uh, the vaccine yesterday, October 16th, and today is October 17th, um, 24 hours after the vaccine. Just a little bit of mild tenderness in the area of the, of the shot, otherwise no side effects. But um, stay tuned as I will post more videos as how I do over the next few days and also after the second vaccine as a higher incidence of muscle pain and some other effects have been reported after the second shot. So follow me guys and see what happens.